Crated aircraft arriving at the Abadan docks are brought by truck to the assembling plant. Originally owned and controlled by the Douglas Aircraft Company, the field was taken over on April 1st, 1943 by United States Army Air Forces personnel consisting of the 17th and 82nd Air Depot Groups. Disassembled airplanes usually arrive in two crates, one containing the fuselage, the other the wing and tail assembly. Here a fuselage is being uncrated. Although none of these men had had experience in aircraft plants prior to entering service, having been trained at Army technical schools, their efficiency here at Abadan is such that more than 200 planes of five types were assembled, accepted by the Russians, and flown to the USSR during the month of February, 1943. This Russian manufactured DC-3 type plane has just landed with a group of young Soviet pilots who will ferry the Lend-Lease aircraft to the USSR. Intelligent, pleasant-mannered, skilled flyers, they are highly regarded by our officers. These are some of the Russians among the permanent personnel. The field is divided by the main runway into two areas, under American and Russian supervision respectively, each with its own quarters and mess facilities. Here, Colonel Charles Porter, commanding officer of the Abadan military establishment, is seen with a Russian general who supervises the Soviet work on the field. With them is Brigadier General McMullen, who was visiting Abadan when this film was taken. Five types of aircraft are sent through this station. Through May 12, 1943, 334 A-20s have been flown to Abadan by the Air Transport Command. 518 A-20s have been shipped by water route. All P-40s have been shipped to Abadan by water. As of May 1, 1943, 293 have been sent with 211 more en route. 236 P-39s and 1918-6s have also been shipped by water, while all B-25s, numbering 122, have been flown to Abadan. After assembling, airplanes are carefully checked by United States Army Air Force mechanics. Passed by them, the planes are towed to the Russian side of the field. Soviet mechanics then make their own inspection, after which Russian test pilots make test flights in all aircraft. Often problems are worked out together by Russian and American mechanics. Goodwill and cordial relationship, based on mutual respect for the other's achievements, exist between the men of both nations. Here, an American soldier transforms the white star of the Army Air Forces into the red star of the Soviet Union. This P-40 is ready to start. The Russian pilot's first stop will be Tehran, from where he will fly on to Russia. on the Russian side of the field, these airplanes are ready to be flown away. Of the 4,338 aircraft of all types, 
shipped to the USSR as of May 1st, 1943, 2,283, or more than half, have been sent through Abadan. Of this number, 1,522 airplanes have arrived, and another 566 are en route.